Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. I want to start this video with this I got from the Crypto Utility Guy. At Utility Guy 7 sent me this. Now, this is not an article I'm going to go into, but it is something I wanted to show just to illustrate to you that the, the governments of the world, they're going to go right back down the same road. They've So basically, they've spent the last 10 years doing their QE and their this and their that, printing money and interest rates at 0%. And now they're all smelling a danger zone for the economies. So now they're talking, what is their solution to that? To just print more money, come up with more government programs. QE is on the way again. And that none of them ever want to talk about the elephant in the room, which is at what point does this all blow up in your face? None of them want to talk about that. And the, and the reason they don't is because all of these people are politicians and they're government bureaucrats. And all they care about is kicking the can down the road. The way they see things is they'll probably be out of office by the time the you know what hits the fan. And then it won't be their problem. It'll be the next guy's problem. And that is a sick way of thinking. But that is the way that these people think. Okay. Um, and just look at, uh, just take as a, for instance, you've got Ben Bernanke, that guy's retired in style more or less. He's probably, he's probably a Dean at some school or something. And he probably goes and makes hundred thousand dollars per speak speech to just go around speaking somewhere, somewhere like at different universities and things. And now, and at some point, the results of all the money printing that he did and all the bailouts and all that, at some point, that's all going to hit the fan. And that guy has already passed the baton. And so nobody's going to point at him and say, this is your fault. You're one of the guys that caused this when they should. Um, they should more than that should be done. Um, OK, the, the guys like that should, in my opinion, it, they should round up all of those central banker types like that and put them in prisons where, where they belong, because you're talking about a crime. What they have done to the monetary systems of the world is shameful. And, and to watch CNBC and all these, these uh, willing accomplices go out there and parade all this stuff like all oh, that is good and it's all good for us as long as, the stock, as long as the stock market keeps going up for now is shameful. These people know better. Okay, Charlie uh, Bellelo. Um, sent this out, and I thought this was pretty interesting, and this, is, this goes right hand-in-hand hand in with that. $10,000 invested for 50 years in Swiss government bonds will grow to $9,851 at maturity in 2069. Note, assumes interest reinvested at current 50-year rate of negative 0.03%. That is how ridiculous and sick things have now gotten, folks. That is pitiful. This is not how things were supposed to be. This is the result of, they don't have any choices left, folks. Okay, XRP, at X Lighting the Way sent me this. Great article on the future of banks. Old institutions are, are scrambling to adapt to fix current systems. However, as stated, it's easy to start up a new banking system than fix the current one. Look out for the for the new game changers, the future of banking. Now, this is the article. I wanted to read this first part to you. It's pretty wild. At the beginning of July, news broke of Deutsche Bank staff being sent home as 18,000 job cuts began unraveling before our very eyes. This news was brought to life with an iconic image of two suited men carrying their possessions um, past the doors of Deutsche Bank branch in London, along with a bag branded bitcoins <laughs> and for this thumbnail i think i'm going to make this bag xrp I, don't, I can't remember if i've done that before or not but if i haven't i should have so i'm going to make this a, an xrp bag and i'm going to i'm going to black out the bitcoins and maybe i can make that into an iconic image um and so 
anyway, but but the the point of this article is that they were they're saying basically that this image right here is could very well capture what is about to happen to the banking system. This whole article is about uh, the beginning of the end for banks and stuff like that, and they're talking about um, about how cryptocurrency and all of this is about to come into play and that it's going to be a game changer. Um, the new weapon in the in the arsenal, arsenal, they're saying challenger banks, also called app banks, mobile payment companies, merchant services, peer-to-peer -peer payment companies. Um, in other words, all the companies that would use things like XRP and Ripple are going to come along and just obliterate the banks if they don't get involved and adopt it. Um, and I wanted to read this last part here to you. I think the market is ready for crypto mass adoption, but there needs to be a solution for the mass demand surfaces. Once all the customers know they can spend their cryptos easily every, everywhere in any shops, it increases their willingness to accept cryptos as payment in the first place. Mass adoption only happens after the solution appears, not before. It's all coming. Don't you worry. Okay. Um, and then next, let's see what we got here. Well, Mr. Computer, uh, let me see if I can go on to this. It's been a long week, it feels like, for some reason to me. I just, um, uh, I feel kind of worn out today. Uh, this is from Chinu Patel, at Chinu Patel 29. Um, this is, and this was a Rob Cash tweet, at Rob Cash, at Rob underscore Cash 71. Give him a follow, too. The Awakening is Happening. Um, this is an article. It says, with NFL training camp starting, Chargers tackle Russell Okung pushes as the 2019 NFL season draws near each passing day. Rus Russell Okung once again in the news for his pro-Bitcoin opinions. This time around, in other words, he, he's already talking up Bitcoin as the new season begins. I think this guy knows what's about to happen. And that's big time in the NFL. In fact, I'm, I just started, uh, I'm getting involved in a uh, fantasy football league in the Twitter XRP community. And um, so that's going to happen pretty soon here. Um, okay. And then there is this from King Solomon at XRP underscore Owl. This is a, I don't know where he got the slide, but this is a slide from, from Purdue University. Ripple Credit or Settlement Network. And they're showing the uh, the use of, of a bank bank versus Ripple, one day to five seconds, high fees to tiny fees, bank only to public verifiability. That is big time. And then I got another, I think this was another one from him. Michael, Michelle Vander, Vandenberg sent me this. This is another slide uh, from King Solomon at XRP underscore Al. Korea Fair Trade Commission opens to fintechs. Creation of a fair competition base to provide new and innovative financial services can be significant opportunity for all players in the payment market. Level playing field. Exactly. Korea, remember folks, Asia, Korea, Japan, China, all those countries over there in Asia, they are going to be, this is, that's going to be ground zero for all this crypto. Trust me when I say that. Okay, and then we got this from Anthony Pompliano. Every stock, bond, currency, and commodity will get digitized over time. This trend is happening already, and it won't stop anytime soon. He is a thousand percent correct. Everything is going to be tokenized or digitized, however you want to say it. Next, from the crypto at the crypto D, um, he's been listening to me. I was talking about how I was going to have two dishwashers in my mansion. I'm done. Forget the private education, the flying lessons, the new boat. Chief Brody says we'll need a bigger boat. Forget the new villa with sea views overlooking the med. I'll be happy with these two bad boys at least at, at least for now till two dollars. Two dishwashers. Remember, I keep saying I hate dealing with the dishwasher. Unloading the dishwasher is one of my pet peeves. OK, now we've got some interesting John McAfee updates going on, folks. John McAfee yesterday had tweeted this. I think this was um, this was July 24th, so yesterday. And he was tweeting pictures out that he's leaving detention. Don't judge my looks. Four days of confinement. I was well treated. My superiors, da, 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 da. So here it looks like he's out, okay? 
Well, then today, and this is July 25th, Bitcoin Ben just did this a little while ago. Let me see when he did this. Uh, this morning, he tweeted out that he got a call that John McCain was arrested at the airport. So we don't know if um, we don't know if John McCain, if the thing from yesterday, if this is new information and he's at, and then we got because we've also got this. This is uh, from this person, and um, it says pics of John McAfee at the airport arrested in uh, Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Janice and John have been separated. John cannot be contacted, needs medical attention. And so they've got all of these pictures. But I, again, I don't know if this was all before John McAfee tweeted that out yesterday about how he was getting out um, of that. And so I'm, I tend to believe that John McAfee, that these pictures are from before yesterday, before John McAfee tweeted, but I don't know yet. But I do love following the whole situation. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that we just don't know where in the world John McCain is right uh, John McCain. John McAfee is right now. Thank you for listening.